But first, I want to highlight the hard work behind bringing this draft to Kansas City because it really started with Kathy Nelson. I've had the opportunity to follow her and this effort at every milestone from the bid to the big day. When you come to the Sports Commission, the city, visit KC years ago and say, I want to try to get the draft here, what was the reaction initially? Well, I mean, you know, anything football, anything NFL goes very well in our city. So when you have the support of the Chiefs and you have the support of back then it was Sly James as our mayor and our city manager, Troy Schulte, and of course now the mayor and city manager, and everyone's all in, I don't think anyone thought I was crazy. And if they did, they didn't say anything. I have been talking to you about the draft for years. Yes. And it's here. I know. I know. I look out my window. I see the tents going up on the South Lawn. And think about that time that we were in Nashville and you stopped me on the sidewalk. Dia Wall here in Nashville with Kathy Nelson, CEO of the Kansas City Sports Commission. A few weeks later. I also want to congratulate and thank Kathy Nelson, the Kansas City Sports Commission. KC was announced as the host city for the 2023 NFL Draft. From the day we had the conversation about bringing the draft to Kansas City, you said it's going to be right there in front of Union Station. Why, I mean, is Kansas City kind of an anomaly in that way? Why was the site such a lock? And has everything pretty much gone according to plan? <laughs> um, no, that's all I'll say on number two. Um, whenever the, the NFL came to town with dozens of people and we walked the site, I think they understood the, the iconic signature it would give for the draft. Have you been pleased with the reception from folks around Kansas City and their willingness to just jump in and, and be part of it? That was never a concern or a doubt for us. We know how Kansas City shows up. So the teammates program is the paid volunteer program. And we knew we probably needed about 2,000 teammates and we opened it up and had 7,000 people sign up and had to stop sign ups. And the NFL was like, well, that's a first for us. We've never had a city show up like that. Then in March, we released the times, the actual work shifts, and those filled up within minutes. And they said, you know, the NFL said, it'll take a week or two weeks to get those filled. I think we filled them in 17 minutes. So pretty proud, you know, proud of our community for sure. You see Roger Goodell come out, and it all starts. And he says the iconic words, the NFL draft is now open. What do you really think that moment's gonna be like for you? You know, it's funny, I've had family and friends ask me that question. I don't, I don't know. I get a little emotional thinking that all of this work is going to pay off. Um, all the difficult conversations we're having right now, all the negotiating on closed roads and, fees and parking prices, all of that will come to fruition and it will be okay. And Thursday at seven o'clock, we're all there to celebrate Kansas City and to celebrate football and to celebrate those draft prospects. Um, I'm sure I'll be a little teared up. Kansas City, uh, also home of the Super Bowl champion Chiefs. Yes. How wild is it? So wild. So wild to think that our team won the Super Bowl in the year that we're having and hosting the draft. I know you may not have known exactly what the stage would look like or how big the footprint would be, but you saw this before anybody else. Are you at least this much proud? Oh, much, much more than that. And it's not just proud, boastful proud by any means but just so proud that everyone's like, we've got this, we can do this. What is your message for folks here in Kansas City in this community about this big event that has taken years and all those hours of work? I would tell you for people that are just now enjoying it or starting to even be aware that it's happening and you see the signage and the decor, just know that it took you as a citizen to be proud of Kansas City to really boast about that, to help us pull this off. Pretty cool. The league had never seen volunteers show up the way you did. So that's pretty awesome. We have more draft coverage ahead, including from sports director Mick Schaefer, 